All right. Well, we're, we're back. So I can't, I don't see any way to actually look at people's comments. So I'm just going to, you know, do my own thing for the next couple of hours. And I promise to spend some time later this evening doing some configurations to try to figure out how I could see people's comments if they leave a comment. So there you have it. Welcome to the ongoing saga of Sandra McEwen live streaming what she's doing in her studio. And again, let me just welcome you. If you're on Twitch, thank you for joining me and following me on Twitch. Continue with that. That's probably where I'm going to end up. I'm just exploring all the different options with YouTube and Twitch right now. And these are not tutorials. This is not, you may not even see how these get finished. It's just what I'm doing in my studio right now. If you are interested in actual tutorials where I, and we do a project from start to finish and I really, uh, you know, flesh it out a lot, please check out my Vimeo channel. That's Vimeo Sandra McEwen Jewelry, or just go to my website, sandramcewen.com slash videos. You can subscribe and watch actual tutorial videos. This is just me fooling around here. So if this is something that interests you, I bent wires on video for like three hours yesterday, and uh, thank you for watching if you did that. Uh, it was just, you know, you get a sense of the actual time that these things happen. Oh, and you can hear Clicky in the background. That's my kiln. His name is Clicky, and he's going to be helping us enamel today. So let's talk about what we have doing, what's going on today. We did all these little wires today. These are all due. I've got to get these done by the beginning of this upcoming week, these four pieces, they are, they've already been purchased. So we are going to finish them up. We've got our lovely, our sweet, sweet hummingbird. We've got our Carolina Wren. Oh, actually it's five pieces, but one piece already has the wires on it. So this one already has wires. So it's this one. And then these really ruby red, these are just kind of the coloring just to give us a sense. And we'll be picking out our colors soon. And I've got, if you were here even earlier in the week with even more shenanigans with technology, you were there when we sawed and fused these bases. We soldered on some bits on the backs of these. And so we're going to actually get started with the enameling. So we should do that. Kiln is ready to go. We don't necessarily need the wires just yet because we're gonna start with enameling the back, which is called counter enameling. So we're going to move these, say goodbye for now. I'm just gonna set them over here. We're gonna say goodbye to this. There we go. Don't need that. And we're also, I've got a couple other things we're gonna counter enamel at the same time, but we're not gonna move forward. It's just that there's gonna be some there's definitely going to be some times where we're just sitting around waiting for things to dry. So it's good to have multiples. So we also have a bunch of other pieces. These are all just going to go in the store of pieces that I'm kind of excited about this shape. I haven't even done a design for it, but these are all bases that we're also going to get counter enameled and bring along for the ride. You know, I keep, I have this thing that I'm going to have so much stuff in my store that I don't make things as people order them, but I kind of enjoy knowing who, who it's for so I can make it especially for you. So if this is one of your pieces that you've bought, never fear, we're gonna do a good job. It's gonna be a good time. So I've got some nice clean paper. Oh, I probably need to get some actual enamel. And we are going to sift one coat of enamel on the reverse. I'm going to grab the enamel. Let's see. I like to use unleaded enamel on the back of my pieces because it is, I've got a lot of it and I just really like this particular 1990 Grisaille Black. It's a Thompson enamel product, modern Thompson. And we are going to, don't forget to, when you're sifting enamel, always wear your respirator particulate mask because you don't want to get this stuff in. So we're going to put some enamel in the sifter. I don't 
don't even know if I need to do so much talking. And we'll find out in three hours if nothing was recorded or was live. You know, them's the shakes. Them's the shakes. We'll just do that a little bit. And we've got a little tiny cup. And I'm going to put a tiny dollop of Dawn dishwashing detergent inside this little cup. It will help make sure that we get a nice, very even coat. The tiniest little dollop. That'll burn away in the kiln. No worries. And then we're going to be using Clear Fire as our sticking agent, which will also, it's just, it'll burn away in the kiln. Don't, that's all you need to know. And pour it just like that. And let me just get a nice, I like to put things away as I go along or things get cluttered. I'm a, I'm a tidy enamelist. <coughs> So, brush. How about this one? Nice clean brush. And the other thing I got to kind of think about is I have a pile of, you can see here, these are all different size trivets. So I'm going to sift on one and then put it. I'm going to get also, let me get a tray, would be helpful. That way, if I put them on the tray as I'm done, I can just carry the whole tray over to the kiln and not have to make like a million tiny little trips, if you know what I'm saying. So, yeah, how do we, it says there should be chat somewhere, but I just don't see it. So I do apologize if you're chit-chatting and telling me all the things that are not happening. <laughs> you, know, you know what? It's actually probably better to just not know. So we'll start with, you know, we'll start with a nice easy one. And I'm just going to get a couple of these ready just like that. And we're going to do two coats of this. Well, we're going to do a couple coats because we're doing some wires on the back. So mix that clear fire in. I haven't had, I keep spilling it. I probably overfilled this little container, but that's fine. Just like that. Put you over there. Don't want to fill that hole in. Just in case we've got one of these. It's fine. you right on there and I'm just going to go ahead and put this on the tray over there and we'll do this one next the kiln is set for 1430 Fahrenheit which is 776 Celsius you, every kiln's a little bit different. Perhaps your kiln is set a little higher or a little lower. It's all good. What's, what's important is you're melting the glass. All right, you know what I'll probably do? It's 11.15 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. I'm going to do this until noon see how it goes and then I'll switch entirely to Twitch so if you're not watching from Twitch you may want to go find me on Twitch my handle or whatever it's called is Sandra underscore the underscore enameler and just to see if this is actually happening because it is kind of disconcerting it says that I'm live but who knows who knows all right, let's get a clean, see how I kind of, we'll wet pack underneath there, but I do want to clean this, this guy off or else if I don't clean the enamel off now, I will be grinding it off later, which is never that much fun. So, just 
just like that. And we'll put this on a larger trivet and set them over here. Should go put these under the light, but then we'll do our sweet little hummingbird. It's all experimental. Let me know if it's laggy or... All right, now this one, clean off these little guys. This one has two, It'll the chain will come through like that. And I'm gonna have to do a lot more filing on these little edges so I'm not going to spend too much time cleaning them up since they're going to get filed anyway. And what do you feel? Do you, will you fit on there? That'll be good. Alright, so you guys go over there and then we've got a pair of earrings. I just like doing black on the back. It's classy. Classy. Stylish. And you could do any color you want on the back. But right now, I'm into black. Oh, and we'll use one of them. How about one of these trivets? There we go, we'll set you just like that. Yeah, so we're gonna do basically two batches. We're gonna do the main batch and then the auxiliary batch. Just to fill in the blanks while we're waiting for other things. That. And I'm going to go put these that I just sifted. I've got a warm lamp that will help dry these a little faster. So I'm going to go put these under the lamp so they dry a little bit. And now we'll do the second batch, which is going to be some, we've got these sweep earrings and this pendant moons. I'm excited about those. These sweet bumblebee earrings. Uh, can never go wrong with some, will these be spring or autumn leaves? We don't know, probably, I'll let you know. <laughs> and then this little guy, and totally going to be arc welding some stuff on that because I've been upping my arc welding skills lately so but that will be at the end so that is we need let's see one two three four five six and trivets and I'm going to take one little moment and get a fresh piece of paper But if you're interested, don't forget. Am I, am I pushing my Vimeo channel too much? If you're interested in actual tutorials. This is kind of just going to be the day-to-day -day grind, which should be called the grind. The grind. All right, so we'll start with this little guy. Let's 
soon. There we go. We just hang out over there. but you understand why we call him Clicky. You hear Clicky in the background? That's Clicky. Clicky the kiln. Not the most imaginative of names. Oh, gosh. Picking up the my dry brush. Two, three, should we do? That's fine. We can hang out over there. And the good news is by the time these are ready to start drying, the others will be ready to go into the kiln. So we will segue. And this one's gonna come over here. Because he's gonna, these are gonna share with our friends the oak leaves. I'm gonna do red and gold on these oak leaves. Vivid shades of red, ruby red, rich brown, sweet warm oranges, earthy umbers and then 24 karat gold wires. Maybe a little hint, a tinge of green right at the tip. That's a lot of colors in this tiny little thing, but I think I'm up to the challenge. But we gotta get the backs first. We can't get to the fun stuff until we've done the foundation work. This is going to take a lot. And yes, this shape. There we go. So now we just have to let these dry. And I am going to redirect the camera to the kiln. Let's see how this is going to work. I'm going to tilt up. See the kiln right there? Check it out. Here, let's even go. And you can see over here. There we go. All right, I'll meet you over there. I'm heading over there now. And I didn't, meant to like look really nice today. I didn't even do my hair this morning. 
So I'm going to try to stay out of the picture. We'll see. All right, so let's get one of these. And actually, let me move some of these over to dry as well. Set you there. Because we can't get them all at one time. I want to be... I think we can get these three in at once. And honestly, I'm going to move, but well, I'll fool around while those are in. All right, we're ready to put these in the kiln. We'll get them all on it that way. There we go. Oh, and these are going to go warm on. Everything needs to be dry because if there's any moisture in these things, they will get these little pock marks because the moisture will evaporate in little poof, poof, poofs, and we don't want that. It doesn't matter so much because we're using opaque black, but you know what? You want it to be right. You want to start on the right foot with your enamels. Don't start cutting corners at the very beginning. So we'll put these under the heat lamp. There we go. We're ready to put these in. Probably need a glove. All righty. There we go. Now, usually, and if I was doing a video, you wouldn't have to sit here for this whole time. So, but because it's live, we're just going to enjoy the show. Generally, let me tell you what's going to happen. See how the temperature dropped? We're in Fahrenheit. Dropped all the way down to like 1250. Basically, by the time it gets back up to, it actually even before maybe, although there's a lot of kiln furniture in there, it should be done just as it gets back up to the original temperature. And that's why we call him Cookie, because when he comes back up to his temperature, he's going to click, which is a good audio reminder for me. Not every kiln does that, just clicky. Or you can look at the clock, which you can see over here, around a minute, minute and a half. You know, it's not, everyone's different. You don't want to sit here staring in the window unless you're going to wear your protected glasses. So don't stare in that window the entire time. But if you're going to take a little peek, that's fine. You just want to pull it out the moment things are melted. It's, it's, it's not rocket science. And you always want to err on the side of slightly under firing everything, especially at the very beginning, but it still needs to be shiny. So if you pull it out and it is, looks like sand or it's not glossy, it can be bubbly or nubbly, fine, but it needs to be glossy. And, you know, it's the first coat it tends to go pretty fast. So yeah, I'm gonna call it out. It's just at orange peel right now and you'll see why we call it that. So you can see, well, we'll look at them when they cool. And let me get my, I do, I'm not going to shock them or anything, but I'm going to pull them on. Oop, oh, never mind. You know, we'll let you just do your thing over there. We're going to have to do these in, let's see, it's going to have to be, I can't get all of these in the next one. So we're going to do three firings total to get all of these pieces done, but that's fine. Get this one in. There we go. Ooh, that was a little wobbly. You're gonna do your thing. We're gonna just, because that one fell off a little bit, I don't wanna mess with him too much. There. Let's leave room to pull out. And then I know the first coat sets the tone. There we go. Just like that. 
what's going on over here. Eh, not quite, almost. I mean, not. Things are happening, but not like a ton of things happening. Mm -hmm. Clean that I bet I can. Now I bet I can fool with this little guy. Hey, little buddy. You fell off your. He has such a strange little shape. We're gonna have to come up with maybe a better trivet shape for him. I'll just set you here. They'll cool down a little faster. Move you out of the way. Always assume things are hot. All right, oh, I bet you guys are ready to come on out. Are the cookies done? Yes. All right, you're coming out, and you guys are going in. There we go. I'm going to get another one of these um, steel plates. It kind of helps to cool things down faster. And there's a lot of glass on these things, so they tend to, the trivets, if you don't get them immediately, see they kind of stick. You can give them a little tap, and they'll generally release. You just need to leave room to pull that other one out. And just to cool them down a little faster, we'll just, once you're on the enameling the front, I don't, you know, cool things down quite as fast. You don't want to shock them. But this will be just fine. We're just trying to keep things moving. There we go. I think it's going in there. Hanging out, doing enameling stuff. And I'm going to grab a couple more of these trivets because it's nice to. Oh, how about a foursome? It's nice to have that. One always tips over. That one's good. All right. Oh, we're ready to come out. There we go. And see if you get them fast, you can get them before they restick. And just kind of set them like that. But honestly. It's best not to, to mess with them. We'll let those cool down. I bet these are these are cool. Let's see how these are doing. Still a little warm. All right, we'll let these cool a little bit. We're gonna go back to the other side. Come to the other side. All right, you ready? There we go. Here we are. And I should have probably tidied this up while I had the chance, but I did not. So we're just going to, we're going to be doing one more coating of sifting. So I'm not going to totally clean this up, but I am going to. It's good dust maintenance, especially when we get to the leaded enamels. Uh, it's important. I don't want to see dust in anybody's in anybody's work area I'm like like there's other people here but it's just me right now so keep things clean all right so we are ready so I'm gonna scooch scooch you here we don't want to make sure we didn't contaminate that we're going to be using that on the front as well. I'm just going to do this real fast. And we've got this little guy. And we're going to start with the wires on the back. I generally put my initials. And you can see I've done, these are the initials here. So we're going to go ahead and put, each one's going to get a set of initials. And then the bigger ones are going to get maybe some swoopies, some swoops. 
and super duper easy. Let me grab a set of these. And I'm just going to I like to put this one right in the center like that. Let's see if I zoom in just a little bit. Let's see. the light on? Everything seems so dim. Set that. Did I, now it's like how much coffee did I have today? Probably too much. Well it's all you know there's the adrenaline of doing something live and not the uncertainty principle of not knowing if anyone is watching or if they even can watch. It's actually Just fine. I'm going to put this little curly cue just like that. And now I'm going to kind of bring you over just like that. And we're going to do a little sifting. Let's see. Well, hold on. Let's. Yeah, I'm still fussing with this zoom thing. You think that the it would be? Let's see if we can zoom. There we go. There we go. Now, so you know what? It'd be easier to do this and then we'll sift over here. There we go. Before this gets too dry. And I'm just going to put a second coat over this wire that I just sifted or laid down. You can see just like that. And I'm going to take a moment. There we go. And i got to find a, a cool trivet. And I'm going to go ahead and as I do them, I'm going to go put them under the lamp. We'll move, we'll move my work area might be easier. And this can hang out just like that. So we'll get it eventually. We got this and let's do our sweet. I want to make sure I don't get any black on the front, although it doesn't really matter because we are going to be using foils, but, you know, proof, it's better to be good. And this one, I'm going to start, I kind of like to, I play these by ear. I'm going to put this down here because we're going to have, this is where the chain's going to go. So I don't want to have have it blocked by the chain. So I'm going to just put that like that. I don't like this large one. I need a tinier one. I'm going to steal a dainty one. Just like that. Let's get a nice curly cue. Let's get my initials in there. Oh, sometimes it starts like a swimming pool in there. 
I'm actually going to put the initials in after I've sifted. Now I'm going to do some curly cues like that. No, you know, I feel like that's just a lot. We're not going to do, we're just going to keep this one fairly simple. We'll add cue curly cues to the other one because we've just, we're, we have a lot going on. So I think that is just fine. I'm going to come over here and do a little sifting. Our clean dry brush. And now I'm going to put, because it was just swimming around before, now I'm going to set you guys right in there. Just like that. Make sure you're not. Looks good. Now we're going to move you and put you on a trivet under the light. I will be right back. Maybe. Now, time of just keep it moving forward. Okay, you can scooch up there. We're going to do you, and you're getting some curly cues for sure. Little bastard. like that. And let's see. I'm going to open you up a little bit. I think it would be nice. Just, and I don't mind it hanging off, we'll trim it. And let's see. What should we do? We'll have to trim that. I kind of like to, the back is whatever I want. Back is always dealer's choice. hate that. It's still a little too long. We don't want it so long that it falls off, if you know what I'm saying. Oh, I like that. I like that. And I feel like, what about an extra Yes, one more little leaf. Just like that. I think that's sweet. All right, now we're going to bring come over here and do a little sifting. Just 
like that. to watch out for that wire, but I am going to take one little moment to tidy up this little edge. All right, we're going to let this dry. I'm going to go put this under the lamp and we will move along. I am notorious for not letting things dry long enough, especially in my videos, because I'm just ready to, I'm raring to go. And in real life, I've been burnt by that before. Not gonna lie. All right, so come on over here, and we've got just some basic earrings. And the thing with the earrings is only one of them gets, one earring per set gets a little thing. The other just gets a nice sifting, so. We'll do, we're going to do these three. What am I missing? Why do I have four? Is there something? Oh, oh, we got, we got so many things. <laughs> Derp. All right, so. Do that. You know, I kind of enjoyed putting the initials on after I sifted. So I'm going to continue that tradition because now it's a, it's a thing I do. There's one. Oh yeah, we have some over here. Not like, the, they're all about the same. This little guy. probably we're missing because I used two of those little leaves on that last one so we're probably gonna have to make a leaf for one of these or maybe this one doesn't need a leaf because it's smaller that little guy yeah you're not gonna get a leaf dude because you are a leaf but you do want a curly cue. So we're gonna come over here. There we go. And now let's get a little What I want is a chopstick to press that down. Thing is, I had a chopstick yesterday and I'm like, oh, I'm going to want this chopstick tomorrow. I'm going to put it in a place where I will know where it is. And now who knows where the chopstick is. Don't forget to put the initials on. Just like that. Just. You know, I was never good at that. I never liked that game operation, but 
There we go. And there's a little bit of enamel over the wire, but you know what? You're not going to be able to notice it. And if for some reason it's still there at the very end, I'll just zap that away. I'll just grind a little bit of it away. It'll be just fine. Oh, let's go ahead and put you over here. And then the last little guy. Oh, let's sift first. Multitasking. This is like triple tasking because I normally do all this extra stuff, but then there's this having to be cognizant of this perhaps live, perhaps live streaming. That's just there we go. Sweet as a button now. I'm going to get a fresh, I'm blowing through this paper. Let's just lift up just a little bit. A little bit more so I can have some room. Room for the artist to work. There we go. And probably need a little bit more. Yeah, we're just going to do, I'm not even going to, you could paint some of the clear fire on. It's not necessary for this. This is a nice, this enamel tends to be a good, it coats well. So see how it's a nice even coat. It's not shifting around. It's just fine. But if you have, other, every enamel is a unique rosebud. So some enamels you always would have to use the clear fire, but this particular enamel is very friendly, so not necessary. I'm going to put you over there. Let's go up a little bit. I'm not sure the exact height that's perfect, but Stay right there. And our last little guy. Just like that. I'm going to grab those last little bits. Four little pieces here, four little guys, all in a row, Two, three. Trivet management. I'm going to do an entire video about trivet management. So let's just pull up a little bit. We've got that little guy and these, so we have three things. And this, I have to decide what the top is. Is it like that or is it like that? I think it's like this. Whatever it is, just got to go with it. I feel like I'm missing one. Did I not make enough? Hmm. Kind of irritating, but that's my own fault. Let me just go. You bend you a little bit. See how that's a little bit closed? They'll push them closed, but they have to be at least a little bit. Set everyone up for success. 
Yeah, I guess I miscounted. That's, I guess, to be honest, not surprising. But that's fine. We'll make them real fast. If you weren't here for the three hours of wire bending yesterday, <laughs> we'll revisit just a little. Let's just get you guys done. That's good. Set right like that. Just like that, I'm gonna take a moment. And then I'm gonna switch these. I'm gonna go put these under the heat lamp. And then we're gonna just quickly, quickly bend a wire. Or five wires, one, two, three, five wires. We'll just take a moment. I'm not even gonna, I'm gonna kind of do it over here too. It'll just take a second. Let me grab the wire. I have probably just enough left to make one signature. There we go, that should be enough. Put you back and Start with the circle. And yeah, I could just abandon this one, but I hate leaving anyone behind. And I'm just gonna make, actually I'm gonna make a couple circles. Make sure we get a good one. One of the circles will turn into a leaf. There we go. And get a good one. There we go. Really? There we go, buddy. Oh, perfect. All right, let me just close this little guy. Just like that. Should we just do it as we go? Yes. Got that. And then we're gonna make a little leaf. Close you. Anything on the back is optional. No one needs to be enameling on the back. In fact, I would encourage you if you're not, if you're still a beginning level artist, enamel artist, maybe don't fret about the backs. We want you to have a good time because if it's not enjoyable, you won't keep doing it. Where you won't grow. Well, I don't know if it has to be enjoyable all the time. There we go. Let's get you on there. Now let's make a little S, an M, and a curly Q. Start with the S. an S. You know, we'll fuss. We'll finesse the S. Little M. I like to give my M a little swag right here, just like that. And we'll cut you. There we go. And then one curly Q. Coming right up.
11 o'clock, you know, I hope, I, I hope I can figure out how to get this one to work because the interface, even though I can't find the chat thing, is so much nicer because I'm able to kind of zoom in and I have a little bit more control over the camera with this switcher, switcher app. And no one's given me any money to say that, but I still don't know why they, there's no chat. So that's why I'm a little nervous that maybe nothing's happened. As soon as I get this on, I'm probably going to pause the live stream and go entirely to Twitch for the rest of the day, just because I promised I was going to be on Twitch. And so if it's not working on Twitch, I feel like maybe it wasn't the best use of my time. But you know what, if you are on YouTube and you're actually watching this on YouTube and you want to, I'll write down, it's Twitch, is it twitch.tv, whatever, Twitch. And my username is Sandra V. I don't know why we had to do underscore enameler. So take this moment to find that and we'll see moving forward if it's going to be on just Twitch or YouTube and Twitch or alternating whatever. So, but that gives you a moment. So I'm going to do this just like that. Oh, yeah, you little mm. come on, buddy. Fine, we'll do you after. I don't even know why it matters to me. It's just as easy to do it like this. Oh, oh, did you see what I just did? That's all right. There we go. So it's just been about an hour. So I'm going to sign off on this multi stream perhaps and move over entirely to Twitch. So if you'd like to join me there, you know, oh, sorry, with a T, Twitch. Look at me. This is me, you know, Twitch. I think it's twitch.tv or Twitch TV. Sandra, the enameler. This is literally what it's going to be. So if this doesn't interest you, you know what? That's fine. <laughs> that is fine. So anyway, uh, thank you so much for joining me. And I will keep you posted as to what's going to happen with the multi-stream moving forward. Thanks for watching. I'm going to get these fired. I might fire these and then log in.